a lot of the time, the answer is if you haven't directed TV before, you can't direct TV, and it's a bit of a catch-22. That's the number, right? Yep. Catch-22? Great. It's forbidden. It's like the Montagues and the Capulets. No, I've never seen Macbeth. Hi, I'm Ali Pankyu, and I'm a writer-director, and the credit that changed my life was when I directed the first season of a Netflix series called Feel Good, created, written by and starring Mae Martin, a fellow Canadian. And it was a dramedy about love and sex addiction. God, why do you have to be so intense? I am not intense. What was that process like? How did you come to be a part of it? As is the law in Canada, if you're gay and Canadian, you know each other. Um, and so May, Martin and I, and actually Sabrina Jalice, who's in my film, I Used to Be Funny, we all just knew each other as early 20-somethings in Toronto, and then May moved to London to start their comedy career, and I moved to LA. But we always kept in touch and stayed across each other's work, and were fans of each other's work. And May really wanted, I think, a queer female lens for Feel Good, so pitched me and I interviewed for the job and I got it. So it was really May championing me uh, being able to do that and that was my first TV credit and I got to do the whole first season which was quite the challenge and the opportunity. Look, the only real rule is do not disagree with my mother about anything, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, anything, okay, yeah. Oh, got it, got it. When I did Feel Good, it was just a way into TV because a lot of the time the answer is if you haven't directed TV before, you can't direct TV and it's a bit of a catch-22. That's the number, right? Yes. Catch-22, great. So it just allowed me to start working in the, like a really wonderful TV space in like the streaming space. So after that, I did a bunch of Hulu uh, shows like Shrill and The Great. It just allowed me to work in a space where you do have the budgets and the resources of TV shows and you do get to work with actors of like a certain caliber. And so I think that prepared me for doing an indie. I kind of did it backwards. I did TV work first and then my first indie feature, but I think it just gave me a bunch of tools like in my toolkit for when you're in the trenches of indie filmmaking and being on so many different types of sets with so many different types of people just I think prepared me well for the challenges of, you know, shooting a feature in 18 days. <laughs>